Today is a Polish extravaganza of sweet treats. I have been to our local Polish shop and I have collected some things that I think are going to taste delicious. Now, hopefully they will all taste good and there won't be any that we don't like. I'm so excited, they look so good. We've got a real mix. Now, this is part one of possibly three. We've got sweet treats. Uh, the next taste testing episode will be crisps and like puffs. Um, and then there may be another one with things like gherkins and actual, Ooh, yeah. That's exciting. So make sure you stay around, subscribe, and let's get on with this. Okay, so what do you want to do first? You can choose. These. Those? This, okay. This is what, oh, when I was laying it out, I've had a good look. And Up there I'm first, intrigued by. Those are the first ones. So basically, uh, Are you going for the pronunciation? Setsia, uh, that is, it's hard to actually see because it's, it's literally Turunski, Turunski. Uh, basically, it's iced gingerbread. So I thought I like, you know, I thought I'd like the look of these. I think we've tried something similar in a. Oh, yeah. Them snack box things. And it's in a in a love heart. Oh, they are cute. That. We'll go half half. Oh, it's nice and soft. They look iced like a yum yum. More than half. Mm. So I've got is, the bigger heart. It is very uh, airy in between. Let's see. Smells. Really good. And I'm not, see, I'm not a massive fan of ginger, but I do like it in gingerbread. I like this. They're or, really light. They're it's really soft. Yummy. You've got, with the icing around the outside, mm -hmm. it adds that extra little sweetness to it. Kind of like an ice brioche consistency. That is better than a gingerbread man. Do Polish people get gingerbread men? I should think so. Around Christmas time. But I do agree. Gingerbread men, I find mm. it really heavy and dense mm. and quite like hard to eat. This literally just melts in your mouth. It's that so is, yummy. Yeah. It's so airy in between. Mm -hmm. And so it's soft like a cake. Mm -mm. Like a brioche thing, I think. No, because it's... Okay. Like a croissant, maybe, maybe. Like a, maybe like a brioche in the middle. But the outside layer has got this little... Not a crisp. It's not crisp, but it's just slightly less than that. Number one... Yeah. Gingerbread, iced gingerbread, that mm. is good. amazing. That is a cracking start. Okay, uh, let, I'll choose. I'm going to go mm -hmm. with this Bambino, uh, Dr. Gerard. <laughs> uh, I've gone, I love cherry. Now, sometimes with cherry, uh, it doesn't necessarily taste great in different foods, drinks. And sometimes it could be a bit artificial. Yeah. It's not so very cherry. So I cherry. thought I'd give this a try. So it's basically, assume a bis... Oh, God, this is a mess. Look at this. Uh, it's a bit of a mess. No, it's just like a jam-filled biscuit like we would get. I'm sure they've made something like this on the Bake Off. So what I think you've got is you've got two layers of biscuits, then with like a... Is it a biscuit? Yeah. Or is it um, very thin cake? Oh, I'm sure it's a, it looks like a biscuit. Then with the splodges of, what would that be, do you think? Like a cream? Cream. I'm just trying to read. Let's give it a try. Let's break it open. It's soft. Oh. But almost like a jammy dodger. It is a biscuit. Yeah. Yeah, like a jammy dodger. Like a jammy dodger style in the middle. Let's give it a try. They are so Moorish. Mmm. <laughs> I've only put it in my mouth. Literally, I, I hovered it in my mouth. And the sweetness. I must admit I'm not getting the cherry jam that much. I'm the, getting more of the cream. Mm. Uh, this could just be the cream. I don't think the cherry is very strong in there, is it? It's not very no. strong. But it is like a jelly, isn't it? It's a thick jelly rather than there is, anything soft. Even if they just have the cream in them, though. They're so moorish. Mm. It's very vanilla -y, the cream, Even the it? biscuits. Mm. You could have that with a cup of tea. That's why I wasn't sure it was a biscuit. Mm. That would be perfect with a cup mm. of tea. You could dunk that. We are off to an absolute flyer already. I've absolutely destroyed the packet, but They're they really are nice. amazing. A bit disappointing on the cherry. It could be stronger. But the cream is so good that you it's, don't really have to worry. It's weird though, because it's so light. The bit, even the biscuit is really light, right? That's why I thought it may be a thin cake, yeah, because it's, it's, it's so it's light. It's so light, it's not heavy, it's not dense. And There's then no the, crunch. You would have thought the cream, the way the cream is, it's almost like 
um, what, a custard cream over here, mm -hmm. but it's thicker. And so you would have thought that it would be the s similar. This is so much lighter mm -hmm. and airier. Similar in flavouring to a custard cream, though, I think. This wins hands down. No, no, no but the flavouring, like, it's similar. It's better than a custard that's, cream, but That's similar. put a custard cream to shame. I don't even like custard creams. I love custard That cream. is amazing. Okay. Shall we go? Uh, I did go for a tin bark, apple and cherry. We love just this. To, <laughs> just to refresh the palate. You go, choose next. There's another biscuit, sir. Maybe go biscuits. Should we go for the hit choco? Mind your face, please. These look really good. These look like BNs. BN, BN. Do, do, do. Um, has to take my, has to take my mojo, did not you? I just need to work out how to work. I've got them, I've got okay. it. But I don't um, really have any nails. So I assume hard. these are just biscuits, round biscuits with chocolate. So, when I was a kid and used to go on holiday in Europe, we would buy these from the supermarket wherever we went because they were really cheap. They are just like BNs. How do you get the next... You just... Mm. No, you just normally... You There's basically it. like a weird um, paper around the outside. And then it's really hard to get it... BN, BN. It is similar. But it stops them getting squished. Not enough chocolate. Straight away, I just want to... If you can see, I don't think there's enough chocolate now, in there. I think they just taste like a rich tea with a tiny bit of chocolate spread, cheap chocolate spread in the middle. Mm. Mm. You're a bit disappointed by these, aren't you? Mm. But when we were on holiday as kids, we used to put them in a cup of tea. Melted, mm. I'll very tell you yummy. I'm disappointed. I'm not a massive fan of rich tea. I don't really like rich tea. Mm -hmm. They just don't have enough flavour. I think they're really boring biscuits. So those biscuits are basically rich tea biscuits. The chocolate in the middle is quite powdery. It's not, you're not getting a lot of t chocolate taste. You'd get, it would be a better biscuit if you had rich tea, if you wanted to keep rich tea, and just put Nutella in the middle or... I think it tastes like a bourbon in the middle. No, it doesn't. It does. I just think, well, no, it does a little bit. I just think it's It's very bourbon-y. Even the, the chocolate and the biscuit. They're just a very basic biscuit, I think. A Nothing that, special. Yeah, unfortunately, we've hit a little bit of a sour patch there because I think that is really boring and I'm putting that back in. Oh, I ain't mine. I thought that was really, really dull. We're getting crumbs everywhere. We've got to hoover after this Should anyway. we stick with the biscuits? Yeah. And go with these. Okay. While I have a drink. Shall we see if Charlie can pronounce? Charlie, how can you pronounce that? Yeshki? Yezheki. Oh, I was close. I was close. Because uh, the, the Z with the dot on top makes it more of a zh okay. sound. Yezheki. You can tell your lessons are paying off. I know. I, I know. hope your teacher's watching. I've had five lessons now. Uh, I even went to the, when I went to the Polish shop, I actually went to the Polish shop to get some bread and, and ham yesterday as recording this and didn't even correct me. Well, that's good. Didn't, and today I had the lady in the bigger Polish one. She was having a bit of a laugh with me. I thought she, I think she thought I was quite cute. I keep oh. getting that term. So, Yezheki, these are basically, let's get these. You're making There's the rubbish. one for you. Thank you. So you've got a layer of, a layer of chocolate. Let's try and break it open. Oh, and you can see chewy caramel in between. It's got sultanas. Chocolate, chocolate, biscuit, caramel, and then like little crunchy bits. But I think it's I got sultanas and is it grapes? Uh, yeah, there might be, but I don't think they're big enough really From to From the packaging, see. I think it's a grape. Mm. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Um, These don't need a cup of tea. These are great on their own. <laughs> these are really good. The chocolate, it's smooth, it's sweet. I love the different textures. Mm -hmm. So you're getting the chewy caramel, and then with the crunch of the little, I don't know what they are. Is it like... Hazelnuts. No, that's not hazelnuts. It is. I'm no, really it's like rice puffs. It looks like rice puffs. No. Oh, you want about these things? I think they're little rice puff type things. But the different textures in that is amazing. Mm. That is amazing. So good. Yezheki is, oh. That is something you don't need a cup of tea with. I would, I think I could eat all them easy peasy. They're quite Moorish. Mm. 
that I'm, I can't put because we haven't even had our dinner. We always, I'm eating one of everything and I'm like, oh, we haven't eaten The problem is we film these uh, taste testing videos always before we have dinner. Normally when I get home from work and As I'm starving. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just eating loads. So if you, feel, if you feel for us having to fill our tummies up with all these amazing treats before we have our dinner, if you feel any, any sorry for us at all, please go down there right down there hit that subscribe button and like and obviously go check out the vlog channel charlie and rob to see all our adventures in poland charlie is currently in italy she's not actually in italy but the vlogs are showing <laughs> she's in italy uh trips to australia and australia coming up and more so go do that right now next jaffa cakes but not jaffa cakes so the question is how do you pronounce them come on delecky Dele Delezia, 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 Delezia. It's De a Jaffa cake. Uh, le, it's, yeah, Delezia. So these are basically like Jaffa cakes, okay? I did buy, some, this isn't technically, I'll admit, this isn't technically are, no. our first time trying these. We got the big, big one as well. These aren't technically the first time we've got these because I bought some back from Wrocław. But they look almost identical to a Jaffa cake, if you know what a Jaffa cake is. And the the Jaffa cakes is, are like 30p for how, the cheap ones. How do... Yeah, these are not 30p. Mm, no. Uh, Don't get me wrong, brand new Jaffa cakes are expensive. But the but question is, how do you eat your Jaffa cake? Or now, how do you eat your Delezia? Delezia? Delezia. I nibble around the outside... Me too. But then what do you do next? And then I bite off the the jelly and the chocolate. Mm -mm. Like that. And I always eat the... Other way around. Yeah. Eat the cake and, and leave the, the jelly. So, the question is, we already, we look, we like Jaffa cakes, right? Mm -hmm. I will easily eat a packet of Jaffa cakes on my own and I won't realise where they're gone. Question is, these do taste pretty much the same. However, not quite the same. The one thing we've decided is that the sponge is a lot fluffier and lighter. It tastes fresher. And fresher. Whereas a lot of times the Jaffa cakes, they, they're always a little bit harder, aren't they? Not not hard, but a bit tough. Yeah, so I'm gonna say. Delezia is better than a Jaffa cake. I agree. There you go. That will, that, we're not saying that to keep the poles happy. Okay. It's I also not, think you get a bit more jammy, jelly stuff. Yeah. And it, look how thick that is. See, it's not like the whole Tim Tam penguin thing because t they're the same. But Delezia are not slightly better. better than Jaffa cakes. Next up, which one? This thing. This thing? Okay. So this is basically. Uh, Goralki, Goralki, something like that. Wafer, nuggets. Oh, we're back on the wafers. Yeah. We seem to do a lot of taste testing of wafers. We Europe, should be experts on wafers. Europe does a lot of wafers. And we have a lot of wafers, to be fair, over here. So it's not like we're not. It's just... I don't we know have tried a lot of wafers. I would say I'm a wafer dum, expert. Dum, dum, dum. Is it dark it chocolate? It is fat. Look at that. It's quite I'm having chunky. the first bite if you don't mind. Is it dark chocolate though? I'm really no, freaked. there was a dark chocolate version and I'm not a massive fan. But it's like a hazelnut version, I think. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Now, it does mostly taste like every other wafer chocolatey thing. It's alright. I'd eat it. But it does taste the same as all the others. It could be a bit more chocolatey for me. No, I don't think so. I don't think it needs to be that much more chocolatey. I would like a bit more chocolate. Well, there you go. But I don't think it's much different. I think it's okay. It's not bad. On par. Not I'd bad. Like a bit more chocolate. Not amazing. Maybe it'll if do. it was coated in chocolate it'll for do. me. Okay, let's do this one because uh, then it's like real sweety, sweety. This, I looked amazing, okay? As soon as I took these out of the bag, they are the one thing I've been yeah. like... 
Let's leave them till late so, because I really want to try them. Oral, oral, happy. happy. I assume happy's the brand. Basically, it looks like a what? A Kinder Bueno. Cross Ferrero Rocher. That's Cross Ferrero Rocher. Oh, they're not very big. Oh, I, I, I thought they were going to be a lot bigger. Oh, they are Buenos. It's a Bueno. How do you know? It looks like a bueno. They're actually quite... I thought it would be bigger. I love when they're individually wrapped. I think it's so cute. Not good for the environment, though, is it? No, but cute. Okay. So, I said, I thought... Uh, well, I suppose, from the packet, I thought it would look bigger than it is. It's not a bueno. But it is not... <laughs> no? It's not mm -hmm. that big. Okay. It's really good, though. It's not a bueno, though. It's not, not nutty. Not quite. Not quite. It's very caramelly. Mm. Well, but not like a smooth caramel. Do you know what it's reminding me of? And it's not. I don't. It's not that I don't like it. It's reminding me of um, like a mocha, mocha. Yeah, mocha. Coffee. Yeah, almost a little bit. Yeah, I know what you mean. That but little I, taste. But it's not enough for me to not like it. I think it's quite indulgent. I don't think you could eat too many of these. No, the caramel is very sickly in the middle. Hang on, I've got to get my face out. Is my oh, face in the way? Yeah, your face in the way. I can feel it slipping out of my hand, so we've got to be quick. Anyway, that's fine, whatever. Um, so there is, it is a lot in the middle. But it's not a smooth caramel, though, is it? You see no. what I mean? It's a little tiny bit grainy, but not it in is. a bad way. But it's delicious. Mm, really nice. Very indulgent, very fancy tasting. That's the thing, I think it tastes quite fancy. Maybe I should put them in my little bowl of sweets I have on the side. People like eating them when they come around. They'll be a good Not treat. bad. I, I still, no, they're not quite Kinder Buenos, not quite Ferrero Rochers. I think they're. But I've realised they're not meant to be because they're not nutty. I don't think they are quite on par, but they're not bad. Okay, we've got two sweet, sweet thing. Let's go with uh, Smear Zel uh, Smear Jelki. Smear Jelki. I, I see these all the time. These are in every Polish shop. Mm -hmm. I saw them in Poland as well, so I think these are just a common, juicy... I did have, in the Gdansk vlog, they will see I eat something similar to this. I buy this brand, but a different one. I think, so they're just gummy, and they are really gummy. Really they're very gummy. gummy. Yeah. They're like gummier than a wine gum. They're quite juicy. Are you going to take all of them? Do you need to read? They have vitamins in. I was Everything. actually reading that this note. I'm sure it most things have added vitamins. vitamins. I was reading the packaging. What a load of rubbish. Oh, banana. Okay. So banana. basically they've got loads of different fruits um, and they are actually they're quite, looking like those they're fruits. They're quite tough for a gummy is the one thing I will say. No, well, they're not. They're quite like gelatiny. I don't think so. I think so. Oh, it's a bit tougher than a Haribo, I think. A little banana kick. A little banana kick. Is it banana? Yeah. They're quite easy to eat, aren't they? They're, I really like them. I think they're better than Haribo, because I, th I think Haribo are too tough. I, I really like them, because I don't think they're too gelatiny. Mm. I, I really like them. They're good. Difference of opinion. Last though. one, then. Uh, Kvajne? Kvajne? I think that's how you'd... Let me get out. Oh, let me see this. Focusing. Kvajne? I think that's how you pronounce it. And Now, these are clearly like... What do you call them? Fruit jellies? Like a fruit jelly, but they've got juice in the middle. Okay. You like this. You like juice So, things. what I'm going to do, hang on. Uh, I want to an interesting one. Yeah, so you've got, I think that's a grapefruit. Grapefruit? Oh no, it's just showing loads of different ones. It says on the side. So, the green ones, oh, but I can't read Polish. I don't know. We'll just go for whatever. Someone else needs some lessons. You should so, learn both your um, basic fruits. Hang on, by where's now. it say? Here. Can you read your basic fruits? Uh, well, oh. ki kiwi is kiwi. Cit uh, citrinova. citrinova is, I think, that is lemon. Citrinova is lemon, I think. It's either lemon or it's. Is there a lemon orange. on the front? I didn't think there was a lemon on the front. I think it's lemon or orange. But I think they've got multiple flavours in. Let or me it could try. be grapefruit. Oh, it could be lemon. There's a grapefruit C one. Citrina is, is it's, I'm sure citrina is either an orange or a lemon. 
lemon. Grapefruit. Grape. Oh, I don't like grapefruit. But these are really cool. They're very sugary. Uh, very, very sugary. But they've got the actual... There you go. I think I have raspberry in the they've middle. They've got... Oh! Or is that meant to be kiwi? Oh. Is yours sharp? Yeah, mine was a bit sour when I first oh. took a bite. Oh, that tasted like grapefruit on the outside. Maybe mine's not grapefruit. So you've got a little bit of juiciness. Never really good. Oh my God, that was sharp. I want to uh, try a different flavour. There's a little bit of juiciness in the middle. The problem is I'm struggling to determine the flavours. Oh. Do you not like that? Is that too sour for you? Mm. Whereas oh, I quite oh. like that. I like yeah. the sour. So I think they all have two different flavours. By the looks of it, mm -hmm. I think, because this one might have raspberry. I'm going to try one more. I'm going to try one more. That's the one I had. So that's grapefruit on the outside, right? I think it's grapefruit on the inside. No, I don't think so. Because my first, my first sort of bite, my first bite, I was, uh, it was that taste. So here's this one. Oh, it smells incredible. Okay. Now this is grapefruit on the inside because I've just eaten the outside on its own. I think it's raspberry That's on the outside. Good. That's got raspberry in the middle. Mm. I, I can't, I don't know what the outside is, but... It's hard to distinguish the flavours, but they're really good. Too sour for you, though. Too sour for me. It's that, it's you only, don't like sour things. It's only the outside of it, though. It's only the outside of it that's really sour. It's like a oh. Harry Botang fastic for you. Okay. There are all... You okay there? Yeah. Do you yeah. need a drink? No, I'm fine mm -hmm. for now. Now, they are all the sweet treats that we've got, and there are plenty more. We actually uh, tasted some when we were in Krakow in January. That is on the channel as well, on the taste testing. There are so many taste testing videos. So if you want to see food from around the world, go to the, uh, go to the taste testing playlist. Now, we always do our least favorite and our most favorite. Would you like to go mm -hmm. first? Would you like me to go first? You can go first, because I need to I need to think. There's been a lot of good stuff. I know I'm wiping my hands on my shorts, by the way. Oh. Ah, oh, it's a really difficult one actually. I think oh, I think least is easy. I'm gonna do okay, I'll do least favourite, and that's them. What? Because that's too sharp for me. That's Don't way agree. too Don't sharp agree. for me. And I, I just I, I like the juiciness is good, but I just don't like sharp sour sweets so that's my least favorite my favorite i'm gonna go oh actually no joint oh sorry joint that's worst. what i was confused sorry I was like surely you didn't even eat most of that hit yeah hit and quasi uh kvajne is the least favorite for me and i'm actually having a joint favorite oh really uh both of these are my oh. joint favorite the the biscuits and the shortbread Shortbread, gingerbread. Oh my, that, that was a taste sensation, that was. Incredible. That was nice, sweet, light, just we're delicious. We're gonna be fighting over the rest and of the were And the, the, the gingerbread was just amazing. You know, better than any gingerbread I've ever had. Go on then, I'm gonna have a drink while I'm. So my least favorite was the wafer. It was worse than that. Well, it's kind of joint with this, but this I would, I would just pick up and eat as a snack. I don't think I'd pick up the wafer and eat it as a snack. Okay. My favourite is going to be these. Yeah? How, what is it? What are they? I can't remember. Yosheki? Yosheki? Yosheki. Um, these were my favourite. These are so Moorish. I just want to sit and eat the packet of these. They're good. They were a very close second, but I'm a chocolate girl at But heart. this is the thing. So we went, I, well, I went to the Polish shop and... Um, there is so much to choose from, and I don't know what's what and what's the best. So if I if I maybe didn't select anything that is pr proper Polish, then sorry. Give me su give me suggestions that I might find in our English Polish shops over here. But I think actually a really good selection. Although I that wouldn't be my favourite, there would be plenty of people that it would be their favourite. But we would still eat all of um, this. There's nothing here that I would never eat again. I probably won't eat them again. Oh, well, I'll enjoy them. But uh, there's nothing here I wouldn't eat again. A really, really good selection. As I said, the next video for taste testing is crisps and, like, puffed crisps. I don't know what you call... What do you call? Puffs. Uh, yeah. And Monster Munch. Monster 
Monster Munch. Monster Munch, but they are not the same as our Monster Munch that we have in the UK. So that'll be interesting for the taste buds. So make sure you like, subscribe, go check out charlieandrob.com for our vlogs. And as always, we will catch you next time. Bye.